Welcome back to Let's Play Splinter Cell. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we now pick up right where we left off. I noted in the scrolling text that uh, someone else has assumed the presidency of Georgia, so uh, at this point, uh, Nikoladze is a terrorist. <laughs> oh boy. So I, I don't understand that. He, how is he still declaring war if he doesn't have his army? Or are they just one of those things where they're all uh, loyal to him? What does this say? Don't give up on you. That's a good one. Let's hear your battle cry. Man, I don't know. So let it be written, so let it be done. Kalina Tech Building, Langley, Virginia, USA, November 1st, 2004, 01, 24 hours. Recover the encryption key. Russian mercenaries have begun to destroy evidence of uh, Georgian activities at Kalina Tech. Before her detection in the network, Grimm's daughter discovered that a technician named Ivan is hiding in the building. If it's a Russian company, that won't help you. Uh, Ivan possesses an encryption key that could help Third Echelon find Nikoladze. Fisher, your mission is a man named Ivan. When Grimm's daughter got made in Kalina Tech's server, Nikoladze's mercenaries got spooked. They're pulling up stakes, wiping out all evidence of their presence, including Ivan and his comrades. Who's Ivan? One of Nikoladze's geeks, a programmer. They're killing their own men. It's all evidence. Let's pray you find him first. Details on your offset. So Junior Wilkes is standing right here behind the fence. No, no. This is as close as we get. Are you sure you're cool with the details? This last minute stuff bugs me out. I'll figure it out. Well, be careful. I've already got a mother, Wilkes. <laughs> Actually, he isn't wearing a vest. He just kind of seems that way. He is wearing a sweater underneath his uh, suit jacket, though. And he does have the same, you know, mop of ginger hair. Oh, boy. What do I have on me? I have... Oh, they gave me my pistol back. Okay, optic cable, pistol, lock picks, five sticky shockers, five sticky cameras, five ring airfoil rounds, and 60 rounds for the SC-20K. Infiltrate Kalina... Oh, uh... 40 rounds for the pistol. Fuck. Come on, me. Here we go, here we go. Infiltrate Kalina Tech. Access Kalina Tech's fire emergency system to open the fire doors surrounding Ivan. That feels like I shouldn't have that one yet. Find Ivan before the Russian mafiosos kill him. Man, mafia's uh, Italian. They're called, uh, 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 uh... God damn it, I can't remember what they're called. It's a, a Russian word that I think means brotherhood. In the, uh, the, the Russian mob. Bratva! That's what they're called. They're called the Bratva. Subject phone transcript. Uploaded 11104. Source, Grimm's daughter. Description. Following is a transcription of a telephone call between Anna Grimm's daughter and an unidentified Georgian mercenary alias Ivan. Have they mentioned her first name before? Uh, text. AG, 911 emergency. Ivan, what the hell? I've been transferred three times. This is an emergency. Sir, are you in immediate danger? Yes, I'm in danger. They're going... Static. Are you still there, sir? Hello? Yes, you've got to help me. I can tell your government things. What's your location? The Kalina Tech building. You have to hurry. I triggered a fire alarm. Sir? What I'm saying is that I'm safe for now. They can't get through the fire doors, but when they figure it out, I'm dead. Can I have your name, sir? What? Um... Call me Ivan. Listen, tell your government I'm valuable, sir. I work for these people. The Georgians. Come by in Nikoladze. I know things. If you'd like to tell me... Ha! Get me out alive and I talk. Until then, nothing. End. Map of Kalina Tech. Parking. Uh, bridge. Chain Bridge Road. Crane. Ash Tree Lane. And Kalina Tech Building. That's the worst map I've ever had. The building itself is just a giant rectangle. There's no details inside. Why is it focusing so much more on this crane in the street? Oh, well. Take a look around. Huh. Clearance site. 
should probably be a decimal, not a comma. 2.96 meters. Wait, they don't use metric in America! I've seen articles where they'd say things like, it's a meteor the size of a station wagon, rather than, you know, use actual metric uh, measurements. Oh, fuck. He looks like one of the goons from the very first level, just wearing a leather jacket and jeans, but he does have an assault rifle, so... I don't know why I did that. See if I can get this pipe above me. Man. Oh, this is real fucking bad. Perfect! Thanks, buddy! Oh, it's nice to have the pistol back again. There's a nice, uh, long look at the, uh, gun there for Derek Floyd's purposes. He looks pissed, as opposed to scared. Let's bring you up here and knock you the fuck out. Good night, Gracie. Standing perfectly still in a splinter cell game. Oh, so unwise. Just want to see if there's a guy in the window. Hello, are you there? I need somebody to cover my patrol while I make a pit stop. Yoink! <laughs> We're gonna go back over there behind that van. Redford 5 to Redford 3, we need further details on your hostilities. Are you in immediate danger? Boy, I bet you wish you could touch your radio right now. Your left hand is free. You could go for it. Maybe your reflexes are better than mine. Are you there? What do you think? I need somebody to cover my patrol while I make a pit stop. <coughs> I didn't think so. Why is choice? Can is useful. So I guess all the Tom Clancy's games must take place in the same universe. You know, since I've heard of appearances from Sam here in uh, two of the Ghost Recon games and. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Oh, medkit on the wall. What the fuck is all these keys? Is this, oh, is this valet parking? Huh. Looks a lot less classy than I think of when I think of, uh, valet parking. It's just a bunch of cans I can interact with, unfortunately.
Okay. Hey, sorry about that. I had just realized that either uh, I forgot to set the timer, or that uh, <laughs> or that I had uh, watched it end and then forgot about it and kept going. So hey, these things worked out neatly. Oh yes, yeah, started to do Duffelfish. He says, "I like how they came up with a fancy name to avoid trademarks," and then Lambert's VA is like, "Yeah, it's an F2000." Interesting to note, this game seems to be the debut of the uh, FN2000, or FNF2000, rather. Uh, let's see, there was another thing in here. Uh, Elthwar, I said this one a while ago, on the subject of the information crisis. Okay, so it seems like Splinter Cell is focused on electronic warfare. I can see how that could help, even with the scales. Though even for the time, the level of connectivity seems pretty high. It does still seem like a bit of a stretch that uh, Georgia would be able to make a serious threat, doesn't it? Ah, well. Uh, and shout out to Justin Jones. He says, now we need a team up of Sam Fisher, Solid Snake, and Gabe Logan. Only question is, who are they going after? Shitty game developers that ruin game franchises? And that sounds perfect to me. <laughs> oh, I did open that. I mean, it peaked, didn't I? What the fuck is this? This door is off its hinges. It's warped and bent. I can't open it. Let's be cute about this. Wow, that actually worked exactly the way I hoped it would. Oh, that is a dude! That moving spot right there. Oh, I like the jerkiness of the camera when you're looking through this one. Honestly, I feel like it could stand to be jerkier when you're moving it around. Just, like, lower the frame rate so it looks like shit, you know? Like, intentionally so, I mean. You know, like, uh, when Team America World Police had a puppet who was controlling another puppet. Where the fuck is this light even coming from? Oh, yeah, it's a bar right there, sure. It's almost too high for me to pick up. I should be careful about that in the future. Hey, what is that? I go hide in here. Shall wait right there. And I noted while I was looking through the manual uh, from the GameCube version that uh, apparently the laser mic is integrated into the handgun. Which means I was sitting there in the bushes pointing my gun at that elevator the whole time. Which would probably have looked much more intimidating if it weren't, you know, a pistol. Are these assholes calmed down yet? Good. Oh, it's a garbage can full of, uh, cardboard boxes on the other side of this door. That's not very helpful to me at all. This is terrible work. You order came down directly from Green Cove. Yes. If 
I didn't fear him like the Reaper, I'd be long gone. He told me to think of them as sheep. He says we are thinning the flock. Hmm. Not sure where his friend is, is the part that concerns me. There he is around the corner. <coughs> oh, there's two guys around the corner. I saw one of them moving his uh, assault rifle. But they did pick up a data stick. From Kalina Tech Administrator to Philip Moss. Sent uh, October 26, 2004, 2335. Subject, Forward Server Irregularities. Mr. Mass, we got this ten minutes ago from a clerk at one of the ISP subcontracting from Kalina Tech before we bought them out. We don't think we need to worry about the FBI yet. But they might go to the Better Business Bureau. What? Uh, what should we do? We're going to need more resources if we're expected to keep pretending like we're an internet startup. Those Russian Mafia goons want to go to the clerk's house and slip... Uh, Sven, attention, server irregularities. Can I open that from here? No. I guess it was a download. Anything in that room? Well, there's a med kit on the wall. Let's see if I can just get cheeky and steal that. Yes. is facing this way. I'll never be able to go around that way. There are cans all over the fucking place, however, so maybe I can get away while they're investigating over by that booth there. If I, uh, grab a can over here. Oh, I didn't save after I grabbed the hell, so I'll just do that too. He's going to go for the bottle in front of him, but that works as well. Nothing. subtly. Are you fucking kidding me? Hmm. Maybe I should just smoke these guys. Just go for it first and see if that works. I don't think it will. Oh! Oh! That guy's probably looking right at me, but, uh... Ooh! Oh, I can't go fast. No! Oh, hey! <laughs> Why did you let go, Sam? That was not a good, you know, decision on your part. 
I didn't hit the button or anything. Why is it making wet noises when I shoot that? It's made of metal, load. Alright, uh... Fuck it, man. Nighty-night, little lambs. No, don't get the can, you idiot. Or that one. Oh yeah, this body is already cooling down. I mean, like I said, they're enemy combatants. Here. Huh. Big empty corner of the room. Oh yeah, it's just dark now. It's kind of creepy, actually. I felt like I was supposed to climb onto that, like, platform out there, except I couldn't jump from that little ledge there. Yeah, I was looking at it, I don't think it actually leads anywhere. I can't climb on top of that because there's a skid. Nope, won't let me onto the bar, bar no matter what. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Splinter Cell. Save that one again. When we head further into Kalina Tech, search for Ivan, and try to get that encryption key. Uh, I'm not actually sure what we'll be using that for, but it sounds really important, so, you know. Till then... Have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!